I am demonstrating how an employee can launch a work order request for cleaning by using either IBM Maximo, Tririga, ServiceNow, and or CityWorks to create that request. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and launch a work order survey. In the survey, I'm going to fill out the necessary fields to ensure that maintenance management properly take care of this issue. I can also add more context by adding a picture of the ongoing problem. Once the work order request is submitted, maintenance management can push the request and have it come through in the ArcGIS Indoors web application. By turning on the work orders, maintenance management can visualize any created work order requests. Particularly, I can look at the room cleaning request I just created. Another way to look at work orders is by going into the Explore panel, where you can catalog work orders by issue type, date submitted, priority, and status. If we need to analyze historical and recently created work orders for particular rooms, we can have them manage in related items to be able to quickly look at for repeated problems. Seeing that there has only ever been one request for room sanitation in this particular room, the operations manager can quickly share the work order location by clicking the share button. Here, he or she can quickly ensure that a cleaning custodian is notified and helps by resolving the issue. The work order request email can be set up programmatically by an organization's notification center. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and notify myself acting as the cleaning custodian for this issue. And in my next demonstration, I will show how the cleaning custodian receives the email notification and how to easily wayfind and resolve that problem. As the mobile notification for the work order comes through, the custodian can quickly access the work order's location in the ArcGIS indoors maps. As the custodian opens the link to the location, he'll have the choice of opening the map in the mobile application or in the web map Safari browser. Being that I'm a technician that already has the application downloaded to my cell phone, I will continue to demonstrate the ArcGIS Indoors mobile application. Say I'm a technician who has not done a current job site, I have the ability to save work orders location to my places where I can have access to where it is on the map for future reference. Additionally, I can programmatically have my cell phone's calendar sync with my work order location. This method can be applied to Office 365 calendars and mobile device calendars to be ingested into the app itself. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to route from that work order location from an entry point over in building M. I'm currently over in building M at that entry point. I want to be able to look at the directions so I can click on each segment of the route to understand how I'm going to get to that conference room. Once I've reached the final destination of the conference room, I'll go ahead and select that work order. One thing to note is that if I was on site currently, you would see a blue dot represent my current location. And that would be leveraging IPS technology such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi surveyed beacons throughout your entire building. So now that I have the work order brought up on the map, I'm going to go ahead and click that more button. What this is going to allow me to do is update the work order status from assigned to completed. So now I'm going to ensure that I go down to the status of the work order and I click completed and I also go to the issue title and I type out completed also. This is going to allow my supervisor to have a better understanding that I've actually completed the work order and that they can go into their mobile application or web application and see that the work order is completed on the map. 
also the custodian has the ability to take an image of the work that they've done to show that it is completed. Once the work order has been submitted by the custodian, the custodian, supervisor, and or the employee that submitted the work order can go back into the ArcGIS Indoors mobile application and view the status of the work order as completed. Now looking at the title of the work order and the status of the work order, we can see it as completed. 